Hey y'all, it's Amanda. Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to talk about the books I hope to read in November. All right, y'all. So I'm so excited about this video. We are nearing the end of the year. November and December are some of my favorite months because we have all good things with Christmas coming up and Thanksgiving, some of my favorite holidays. And so for this TBR, we're going to be pretty, pr pretty brief, <laughs> I should say, because I don't want to get into too much into the synopsis. I don't have a lot of time to film this, but the books will be linked down below. All those good things. Sorry if you hear background noise, but I really just need to get this done. So I'm filming this actually on Saturday, October 26th. So hopefully this comes out on Monday. I know there's going to be a few readathons in the month of November. I'm going to try to participate at least in one or two of those. So more to come on that later. I've got it written down elsewhere, but I don't have all the details in front of me, but I will probably at the end of the month try to like fill the prompts. We'll see. So let's get into it. First things first is I have a, several buddy reads. Like this is the month of buddy reads and getting some of those arcs done. So again, thank you so much for your comments on the arc video. I am just so, so thankful for each and every one of you for leaving those um, and just being so supportive and understanding. I was a little nervous about that video, as you could see. So <laughs> you could definitely tell I was like, <laughs> you know, but um, I really feel like this is the Lord telling me to take a step back in the arc reading and um, once I get done with all the commitments I have through April of next year, just really taking a step back. I had to tell several people no already this week. So that is definitely a change I've already made. Also got some health stuff going on. So I would really appreciate your prayers in that. I don't really want to talk about it too much here, but it's just like, I need to get my health back in order. So definitely going to try to do more workouts and just eating better and all that good stuff. So, um, just, you know, pray for me through those things as well. Like I said, we have lots of buddy reads and I have some arcs that I need to get done this month so hopefully I don't forget everything but we're here and again these are just possibilities who knows where I'm gonna end up with stuff but The Air by Kira Cass I'm gonna buddy read this to my friend Lauren this is like the next book after the main trilogy of the selection I guess the first three books in the selection series we will see how I get on with this one Another book I want to read, but or buddy read with my friend Lauren, is The House of Foster Hill by Jamie Jo Wright. I did mean to get to The Curse of Missy Wayfair this month. As of this filming of this video, that has not happened. So we'll see if I get to it by the end of the month. If not, I'll try to maybe fit that in by the end of the year. We'll see. Or early next year. Who knows? Who knows where I want to end up with stuff. But I really want to try to read her to zero. And this is a Christian suspense. Always dual timeline. So it looks like the first chapter is 1906. And probably modern day in the early 1900s. Definitely looking forward to this one. Then we have got another buddy read that I've got with my friend, Melissa. And we have got Rescued by the Hero by Mandy Blake. At least I'm pretty sure it was this one. Girl, sorry. I'm pretty sure it's this one. <laughs> but I'm really looking forward to this one. It's another good Christmas read by Mandy Blake. You already know Mandy is one of my favorite authors. So I've got a lot of her Christmas books on my TBR for this month. And you will see my Christmas TBR coming out later this month. So um, this is on it. <laughs> So, spoiler alert on that, but this is definitely on it. So, I'm going to go ahead and get a head start because why not? I'm going to be in a Christmas movie probably pretty soon. So, love this. Sorry, I'm not talking about these books in detail, but like I said, we just need to go through them. Okay. Also got um, Adorning the Dark by Andrew Peterson. This is a Christian nonfiction that Chris at Books and Jams is hosting like a read along with. I also think that there's like discussions in the Revive Book Club Discord for this as well. So, um, I think like November for that is like bring your own book. And so they put some information about that in their Discord for there as well. Looking forward to reading this one. I've never really read anything by Andrew Peterson. He is the author of The Wing Feather Saga, which is like a Christian middle grade series and so I tried to read the first book in that one I didn't really get on with it but um this is like I said is a non-fiction so looking forward to it I think it's about like community and stuff so um like why the import the importance of community uh in, in fellowship and all that good stuff so uh looking forward to that one too Next, we have got A Seaside Wonder by Melissa Tagg. Will I get to this? I don't know. This is kind of like at the very bottom of the list. It's one of my 24 and 24 though. That's why I need to read it. Um, but no audiobook. Again, I'm not going to stress out about it if I don't get to it. But this is one I would really like to get to. Book one is 
uh, Autumn by the Sea. <laughs> so I really enjoyed that one. And so I, I know I said I wanted to reread that one before I read this. So I don't really know where I land with it. But I'm still going to say, hey, I want to try to read it. We'll see. Don't be surprised if I don't. But hey, we're here. I almost didn't even put it on the list. But yeah. So then we have got another buddy read my friend Melissa. And that is Absolutely Not In Love by Jenny Proctor. This is in the Appies series and the Sweater Weather series. Kind of tied in. So looking forward to another uh, Appies hockey rom-com. You already know. Then we have got Deadly Revenge by Patricia Bradley. This is an art copy that the publisher sent me to honestly read and review. So, actually a finished copy, but it's like an advanced copy for me to read. So, this comes out early November anyway. So, hopefully I can get to it soon. This is book three in the Pearl River. Yay! <laughs> Pearl River series. And I really enjoyed the first one. First one is Counterattack. Second one, I think it also gave five stars, was... Witness. <laughs> Second one's Final Witness. Christian Romantic Suspense series. Then we have got... A buddy read with my friend Tammy at the protagonist pub. Looking forward to this. Okay, this is Rosanna M. White tr to Treasure and Heiress. This is book two in the Secrets of the Owls series. And the first one was in The Nature of a Lady. And me and her both really enjoyed that. So looking forward to this one too. I keep saying looking forward to, but you already know I am looking forward to everything. Okay. Yeah, this is a Christian historical romance. So yeah. Love that cover too. I mean, isn't that gorgeous? She always has the best covers, you guys. All right. So now I've got another 24 and 24 I need to get done. And that is Dream of Kings by Sharon Hink. Uh, this, will I get to it? I hope so. Because it's definitely one I need to get done. Blake's going to roast me, okay, if I don't get this one done. Because this is one of his favorite covers. It's giving a Latin. <laughs> okay, but you know, it is Christian fantasy. You already know fantasy is not always my go-to. So that's why I'm like, I don't really know if I'm going to get to it. But I can get to this one, okay. Uh, everyone says it's really good. Another buddy read I have with my friend Miriam from Miriam Elizabeth Reads is The Frozen River by Ariel Loss, Law, Lawson, Law, Lawhon, Lawhon. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, this is a secular, like, mystery. I don't even know what I'm, what I'm getting into, you guys, but I've heard it's really good. It's set in the uh, late 1700s, and I know there's, like, a murder and stuff in here. I want to say there was assault. So, just kind of, if you're interested in this, look into the, the trigger warnings if that means a lot to you. But um, I've heard that there's no real explicit sexual content, at least. So, we'll see. If you've read this, let me know ahead of time, just so I can be aware. But um, I've heard this is very, like, oh, just a very wild ride, I should say. So, we'll see how I get on with this one. Then we've got another buddy read. What? Buddy read November. Okay. <laughs> and that is Ruthless Vows by Rebecca Ross. This is book two after Divine Rivals. <laughs> it took me a second. And I'm going to read this with Teresa and my friend Lindsay Lemus. And so, honey, we need to know. We need to know. Lindsay just finished up Divine Rivals recently. And so we were like, hey, me and Teresa were like, we need to read Ruthless Vows. And so we're all going to read it. So looking forward to that one too. Again, looking forward to, but I really am. <laughs> okay. So, sorry, I don't have any other words. Um, so, those are all the physical books I own right now that I need to read in November. Editing, Amanda. Okay, I'm going to, like, redo the part of this video where I talk about the arcs and stuff I have that I don't physically own yet. Uh, just because I forgot to talk about Tammy's Book Club pick. <laughs> and I kind of want to just redo this clip anyway. I'm not really feeling that great today. So you can kind of tell I'm just like off a little bit. That's part of why I don't want to read the synopsis and everything. But sitting down felt a little bit better. So let's just kind of redo this part. But the next book I have to read is Cornered by Lena Eason, Lena Blackburn, and Natalie Walters. I'll put the picture on the screen. But this comes out in November, I think November 19th, and there are three novellas in this collection. Um, in the Dark by Lena Eason, Downfall by Lena H. Blackburn, and In Perilous Obsession by Natalie Walters. And so I read their novella collection that they had last time called Targeted and really enjoyed it. And so looking forward to this one and they write christian romantic suspense those are always some really great christian romantic suspense authors and the next one we have got is a year of flowers by suzanne woods fisher and again covers gonna be on the screen the books are gonna be linked below but this is apparently like a collection of four novellas very heartfelt it says three former friends have found success in the floral industry but happiness and love remain elusive so we've got an apology in bloom a bouquet of dreams a field of beauty and a future in blossom. There's flower shops and all that good stuff. So this one comes out November 19th and this is like Christian romance and stuff. I've never read anything by Suzanne Woods Fisher. So looking forward to trying out a new one to be author. The next one I have got is The Queen's Cook by Tessa Afshar. And this is her newest release coming out in November as well. 
and I have an early copy of this. It says in this book you'll follow the timeline of Esther's story through the eyes of Roxana, the queen's cook. So bound to be a good one you guys. It's bound to be a good one. So then we have got one that I have to early read and review that I probably would have said no if I was like already feeling the arc vibe that I was feeling last week but I agreed to this a while back so <laughs> but it does sound cute so we'll see but <laughs> it's um 12 days of mistletoe and this is a Christmas rom-com by Jen Atkinson so I love the cover it got me I agreed okay it comes on November 14th and it says break break apartment rules guilty send holiday cards to the downstairs neighbor's grandma done Accidentally become said neighbor's fake girlfriend for a family Christmas photo. Wait, what? So, sounds cute. We'll see how this goes. Looking forward to reading more Christmas books this year, you guys. Like, I love Christmas books so much, so I'm going to try to really read a lot of them. We have got, I think, was that it? As far as, oh, how did I not mention this in the last thing? I didn't mention this. <laughs> <laughs> what what I re refilming here? I, I'm not gonna mention it now that I can see it from my computer here. Okay, Across the Ages by Gabriel Meyer comes out in November. My copy should come in the mail and my pre order, honey, all that good stuff. Now I will say I don't know if I'm gonna read it in November or not. It depends on the group of girls that I'm reading it with and when they have time to read it. So we will see. Play it by ear looking forward to this as always you already know it's like my most anticipated release for this this whole year okay uh, well ha last half of the year okay so uh I, I don't know where if things gonna land i'm gonna have to really try to avoid spoilers though so that's definitely on the list and then we have got the book club read for tammy the protagonist club and it, it i don't know how i'm gonna say this i'm probably not gonna say it right you guys if i get to this great if not i'm not gonna stress myself out because I don't even know if it's on my library or not yet. I don't own it. But I want to let you guys know what it is. And it is the Dubrovniak. Debru okay, here we go. <laughs> the the, the Dubrovniak. Okay. The Dubrovnik. The Dubrovnik Book Club by Eva Glenn. Cover's gorgeous. It's set in Croatia. I've never read a book set in Croatia. It has like a book club and stuff. So, okay. I got interrupted. Sorry. Um, I don't know where I was at. The Dubrovnik Book Club by Eva Glenn. I've never anything about this author. I don't know anything about it, honestly. It's, um, I'm probably gonna wait and kind of see what the other girls in the chat say, um, about this before I pick it up, just because I have so much else I need to get to this month. But, uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, I just want to tell you guys that that's what the book club read is for. Tammy's book club at the protagonist pub. I will leave her channel down below if you want to check that out. And I will say that she has a poll up. So go check out her community tab. She has a poll up that um, she's asking everybody like, hey, do you want to do a book club read in December or not? Or just take December off. So go vote on that poll if you haven't. So there's that. And I think that's pretty much it for everything I meant to say that your girl forgot to say. So we're going to end the video with this one because apparently I, I was like out of whack when I tried to film this video. <laughs> so let's talk November's content real quick. I have a lot of videos already pre-filmed. So I will probably just space some videos out where I have two videos a week in the month of November, not three videos like I've been doing the last couple of months. So lots of content on the channel in case you've missed anything. I've had three videos a week for the last two months. And so that's been awesome. I've really enjoyed just doing lots of filming and everything, but I need to prepare for Vlogmas. And so that means um, a little bit of a step back in November, okay? So we are gonna have just two videos a week. I've already got something scheduled. I've got one, two, three, four videos already scheduled in the month of November. So I've got to make those like spread out and last. May have some surprise vlogs here and there. I'm just not going to commit because I don't really know where everything's going to be and whatnot. So we'll, maybe I might even move this one video actually. I have one scheduled for, for Monday the 28th. I'm going to move that to November. So I actually have five videos for November already ready. So yeah, it's like the coffee book tag. I'm waiting for that to come out. We got the coffee book tag, the book tower challenge and book racks with food and chefs, cooking, all that good stuff. Christmas CBR and Christmas book racks. Those are already some of the videos you're gonna see in November, already done. And then I've got three videos already done for Vlogmas. So two of those, Carol the Bells book tag and the Christmas activity book tag, that's already done. The other one is a surprise, can't <laughs> And then the rest of that, we're gonna have like winter book racks, winter TBR, 
and most anticipated releases those are three i still need to film so like because i need to film some of that stuff and i don't want to stress myself out that's what we're gonna do we're gonna film all that stuff and just not worry about having three videos a week if i have time for our next one it'll be here but if not it's fine so yeah the wrap up will also be coming i gotta film that too um at the end of, end of uh, october so yeah that's kind of everything for the content plans and everything just taking a little step back you know lots of stuff going on i really feel like the lord's telling me to slow down a little bit so you know looking at the calendar i will probably get those 12 videos done leading up to christmas which is a book and a book a video like december like the way vlogmas is going to play out we'll have december 1st 3rd 5th 7th 9th 11th 13th 15th 17th <laughs> Is that 12? I don't know. 19? I don't even know. 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, wait. 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, okay. That leads up to Christmas. <laughs> oh my God, that sounds like a lot. Um, But leading up to, vid we'll have 12 videos leading up to Christmas and I'll take the week of Christmas off. And I'll probably still be filming this stuff a little bit here and there, but it just depends. I don't want to commit. I want to just have some room to just do what I need to do kind of thing. And I may even take the last you know, right after Vlogmas may take up the first week of January. Who knows? Who knows? I say this and then I don't do it. But like, I'm just telling y'all this so that I can keep myself accountable to do this stuff. And that's one reason that I, I mentioned all the ARC stuff because I thought I got to have a way to keep myself accountable. I mean, <laughs> and like if I told y'all something, I need to do it. And it's like, if I'm saying I'm taking a step back on arc reading, I'm going to like hold myself accountable to do that. Okay. So some thoughts. I, I've just got a lot going on, guys. So I know y'all are always really good about that. So thank you so much for always having grace and giving me grace. I mean, and just being so kind in the comments. So yeah, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say. I feel like there's something I'm forgetting though. Oh, if there, I, there is. So if I am going to do a QA and a video for Vlogmas. So if you missed it, I have in my community tab. A, a little post that says leave your comments there you can always leave them here in this video too I've been keeping a document and every time I put the document or every time I document sorry what somebody's asked me I'm hearting the comment and saying added a document because that way I know I did it so <laughs> there's that I also have one on Instagram send me a message over there whatever if you want to like ask me any questions I have a Q&A post up okay so that will be up pretty much the whole month uh, well, not whole months. I shouldn't say that. I'll need to film it. So I'm going to say that I'm going to cut off any questions for that by at least November the 10th. That way I can kind of get everything done. So that's a couple weeks. Any questions that come in until November the 10th, your girl's going to be answering them. Okay. I got some interesting ones. There's some I can make a whole video on you guys. So like, what? <laughs> there was one question I know. I was like, I could do a whole video on that girl. So <laughs> I'm excited. I'm really excited. So we'll see kind of what happens. But um, yeah, it is the 26th. Going to get ready for sprints here later tonight. So I wanted to just go ahead and end this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know some of the books you're going to read in the month of November. All that good stuff. If you're going to read any of these books. I'm sorry if I forgot anything. But yeah, it's just, it's crazy. I've got lots of buddy reads, arcs, and things I gotta get done, but I'm not gonna put any stress on myself. If I can't get done, it's fine. It ain't no big deal. I'll get it done when I can, you know, because that's just the way it's gonna have to be. So, anyway, thank y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, y'all.